So hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing my makeup inventory. And I did do an eyeshadow palette declutter. It will be in my makeup rehab update for the month of July. But for now these are my up to date numbers as of 20 minutes ago. Which is pretty accurate because I have not purchased anything since then and I'm not expecting anything. So I'm just going to get started and I'm going to put pictures up from March. I did film a March inventory, I just never edited it and I have the photos so I figured that this would be a great way to show you guys how much stuff I had in March anyways and you'll be able to see the photos. I did open the products in that one so you can see like all the different colors and my collection has not changed too much since then but I didn't do it this time because I'm wearing shorts and I don't want you guys to get flashed by my thunder thighs. But I'm going to get started with primers. I currently have four primers. I previously had three. I used up one and I got two. One of them is a mini, so I did use up a mini and I got a mini back. I mean, four is not too bad. I'm probably going to save the mini for when I travel, which I don't know when the next time that will be. I do find that when I travel, I don't like to wear too much makeup and I prefer to wear sunscreen over primer, so maybe I'll just use up that mini on my own time. But for is primers is like kind of whatever. I do want to eventually phase out primers out of my collection because the way I use them for is to like fill in my pores. But I have sunscreen that does that just fine. And for like my powder to stick onto my face better because I don't usually wear foundation. So I think maybe after I'm done with my foundations, I will stop buying primer. Moving on to eye primers, I currently have three, I previously had two, I purchased one with a gift card because the primer was going to be the same price from Ulta and I wouldn't have to make like one less trip to go get the primer so I figured I'm like a few months away from finishing my current one so I might as well just get the backup now and so I have two Milani eyeshadow primers. I find that they are very similar to the Urban Decay eyeshadow primers. I have oily lids and mono lids. And they've held up just fine. Moving on to powder, I currently have five. I previously had five, and they're the same five. I mean, how fast can you use a primer in three months? I mean, powder, sorry. How fast can you use a powder in three months? Not very quickly. Moving on to setting sprays, I currently have three. I previously had four. I finished my giant setting spray, and I'm going to be taking a break from Urban Decay setting sprays for a while because... There's denatured alcohol in it, and right now I'm using the Benefit Professional Setting Spray. I think that's what it's called, because the packaging is the exact same as the primer, and that's what the primer is called. I find that that one has a scent to it that I'm not the biggest fan of, but it works. Like, my, like my makeup's not melting by the end of the day. I might try the Milani one next when I'm done with the Benefit one, because Milani is cheaper. And, it, I mean, if I like their primer, maybe I'll like their setting spray too. Switching from Urban Decay to Milani. <laughs> it's like the opposite for my skincare. Going from low drugstore to high end, and then my makeup is going from like high end to drugstore. Which, I mean, I'm not mad about. If it works, who cares if it's cheaper? You know? That's like a good thing. For foundations, I currently have two. I previously had the exact same two. I do not wear foundation every single day. I find that it actually makes my skin look funny because. It just looks so cakey on me, and like the powder sitting on top makes it look even worse. It looks so unnatural, and it's gross. I don't like foundation. But the two I have are not really foundations. One's a BB cream, and the other is a tinted moisturizer, but I put them in the foundation category because that's what I use them as. I cannot wait for this category to be gone because... I feel like every other year I'm like, ooh, foundation seems like a good idea, and it's not. So I should just buy a concealer to use as a foundation if I really care that much. Moving on to blushes, I previously had 25 blushes. I still have the exact same 25. Blushes are really hard to go through, but between my March and my January update, I did actually finish a blush in my Hourglass palette, and I really, really missed it already, but... It's, I'm not going to get it because I have 25 more blushes and I'm on a blush no-buy this year. I'm not going to buy any more blush because, like, what other color would I need? I feel like I have 10 dupes for the same color. Moving on to bronzers, I currently have 6. I previously had 6, the exact same 6. For bronzers, I 
noticed that like a lot of my bronzers, even if they look dark, they're not that dark on me. So I don't know if I have to, again this year, go and look for a darker bronzer. I hope not because bronzers, like just, I guess makeup in general takes so long to go through and I already have six. I don't want it to turn into like 20 bronzers because then I would definitely like declutter because it's too much. With my blushes, it's a little bit harder. Even though I have 25, most of them were presents and I don't like to get rid of presents. That's why for bronzers, I think six is a good number, but then I'm probably going to have to shade adjust later this year because I bought a patio set and I'm going to be out on like my patio in the sun probably getting tan while I play on my Switch. So For highlighters, I currently have 14. I previously had 13. I did get one as a present from my friend. It's a silvery highlighter. Like, I wouldn't wear it every day, but it is fun for, like, doing those party looks and stuff like that. And the packaging is really cute. I think she said it was supposed to be me. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have pink hair. Moving on to brow products. This includes like mascaras and pencils. I currently have seven. I previously had six. I did purchase the Glossier Boy Brow and might I say, uh, if you have like no hair, no brow hair like me, don't get it. It's so natural. I feel like it's only for people who already have like brow hair. It does almost nothing for me. I think I prefer the Too Faced Brownie Brows because it has like little fake hairs in it so it kind of fills it in more naturally but this one no it does not have that so it's not like I would say the Too Faced one is like a weave for my brows but then this one is just like dyeing my brows a little bit more black so yeah I'm not going to return it because I can still use it if I like smear it on my like onto my skin which I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do I think you're just supposed to brush it over your brow hairs but if I smear it onto my skin it like tints under it so it looks like I actually have more brows it's not really that much different than using a brow pencil but I don't want to return it because I can still use it moving on to lip liners I previously had one I still have the same one it's on its last legs though so hopefully I can finish it by the end of the year it's a red and it's from Charlotte Tilbury which I no longer buy from and then moving on to lipsticks, I previously had seven. I still have seven, but I think I decluttered one and then I got one. And then I got a mini as like a gift with purchase when I got one of my birthday presents. So it's the rose ink one. It's like the little cute one on the far right. Moving on to lip gloss, I have nine. I previously had nine. The photo for this month at least only shows eight because I have one at my desk in the office and I don't feel like bringing it back and forth so that one is like half used because it's not like the Fenty gloss bombs those will take forever to go through but like a typical 0.1 fluid ounce lip gloss does not take that long to go through so yeah I'm about halfway through that one and I don't think you guys will see it until it's an empty but for now it's not an empty and it's the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat lip gloss and I think it's Deja Brew, I'm not sure, it's like got some coffee name. <clears throat> For tinted lip balms, I have three, I previously had five. I decided to declutter one of my party packs from Milk Makeup and because I never opened it, I think it's fine. I might even declutter the other one because I also didn't open it, so I might declutter like four of them. One of them is not tinted so I don't count it but the other two are so I might just give away that one as well because it's never been opened. I also don't know if I should just eventually merge this into my lipstick category because that's how I would use it as a lipstick and one of them is the Clinique Almost Lipstick. <laughs> it's got lipstick in the name so maybe I will include it in my lipsticks or I just miscategorized that one. I have no idea but maybe I'll just merge this into there in the future and just note that it's a tinted lip balm. Moving on to eyeliners, I currently have 10. <laughs> I previously had 9. 10 is a big jump from January but from March it isn't really. So I did purchase at least 3 new eyeliners when I was in 
Asia. So I got two from Taiwan and at least one from Japan, from what I remember. From what I remember. And then recently I used up one and then I bought two. So I have 10 eyeliners now. I was going to say most of them are different colors, but I think one of them is yellow. Two of them, no, three of them are black, but one's a liquid liner that also doubles as it <clears throat> that also doubles as lash glue so i have to be careful where i put that i think i have a khaki colored one an olive colored one a gray one two brown ones one's liquid one's gel and then i have a purple one so i think that's all of them but nice to have a variety of colors and i'm looking forward to playing with the yellow one during the summer moving on to mascaras i currently have four. I previously had four. I'm not wearing mascara today. In fact, most days I forget to wear it because I am lazy. I really need to start wearing it more often or just stop buying it altogether because I will open a tube and then forget to use it for like a month and then, you know, for sanitary reasons, I have to get rid of it at six months if it's not done. These mascaras, you can actually use it before the expert, like before the six month opening date because there's not that much product in it. But yeah, I'd rather not, like, have it go to waste, so I need to remind myself to wear mascara every day. And the best way to do that would be to put it in a project pan, but that's so boring. I don't want to, like, I don't want people to watch me use mascara. That's, that's so dumb. You can't even measure your progress on it because it's so minuscule. So, yeah, I just need to remind myself to wear mascara more often. And now for the exciting part eyeshadow so I always save this for last and I'm gonna start with my singles I currently have 14 I previously had 15 I tossed my single f that I depotted from my Too Faced gingerbread spice palette like the first one or just gingerbread palette I'm sad I got rid of it because it was it was too old to use honestly for eyeshadow quads <laughs> I think I accidentally categorized one of my non-quads into this category because I got rid of a lot of my smaller palettes. So I used to take three sets of photos <laughs> for my eyeshadow category. So one for singles, one for my smaller palettes, and then one for my large palettes. But now I only have one small palette, so I've moved it into my quads. So now quads are anything between one and six. And none of the... None of the palettes in my quads is actually a quad, so I currently have three. I moved the Monet palette into this category because it's a six pan and it's small and I didn't want it to get lost in, well, I mean, I didn't want to take another photo just for that one, but I currently have three. I previously had four. I decluttered two of them and then moved this one into this photo from the palette section, so... There you go. I decluttered a one because it was old and I was never reaching for it and then I decluttered a second one because the formula was awful. It was the Natasha Denona Tropic, Mini Tropic, not quad, but five pan palette and I'm, I'm not even buying from Natasha Denona anymore so it was kind of like, well, it's time for this to go. I was originally going to keep it for cosplay but <laughs> you just don't like the mattes in there and the shimmers are way too glittery. They're not like Metallic it's like glitter like the Density of it is too low like you just get little Patches of glitter everywhere instead of like a concentrated Like it's not like a liquid metallic. It's more like you dumped glitter on your eyes kind of and I want the more liquid metallic look so I was not going to get it from those eyeshadows moving on to eyeshadow palettes I currently have 11 I previously had 15 I decluttered some but I also recategorized one of them by accident and we're gonna keep it that way because it's small enough to be a quad and well to fit in the quad photo I was actually quite surprised at the eyeshadow palettes that I decluttered because I was like really pining after some of them, but then others I was like decluttering because they were getting old. When you declutter, you feel bad because you're not using it anymore. And if they're old, it's kind of like, well, you know, the time we had was not enough. But then 
if it's like new you're kind of like why did i buy this so it just sucks like i don't want to declutter just for the sake of decluttering because i feel really bad about like wasting the money but i'm gonna find them good homes so my total excluding eyeshadows is 103 products and before in march it was 101 and if you're wondering what it was in january it was or january in december of last year it was just 100 flat which is what i want so i need to get this down but i definitely have some products as you can see that are on their last legs and some minis that i could just use up easily i also wanted to do this inventory today because i kind of wanted to buy something just for the sake of buying something because last month i got new makeup for my birthday and then this month i also got new makeup as a belated birthday present and it was like this is so exciting i have new stuff i know that just the feeling of thinking about new makeup and like waiting for it to come in is more exciting than actually playing with the makeup like that excitement wears off pretty quickly i'm going to be content with what i have for now and i'm definitely going to be working on bringing my numbers down because i have some products that are that i can use up reasonably within the next three months and definitely by the end of the year because my next update is going to be in September and the last one is going to be in December so hopefully I can get this under 100 <laughs> I think this was a good reality check but I'm still going to look at new products just to look at it but probably not buy anything that's all for this video I'll see you in September or December depending on if I remember to film this in September but I'm sure I will it's just more of a question of will I remember to edit it or will I have time to edit it but thanks for watching and I'll see you in three months. Bye!